So great question. What is a fair offer? What does that mean? You oftentimes see investors say, hey, we'll give you a fair offer. And I've seen people make comments where they're like, you know, that investor promised a fair offer and I didn't feel the offer was very fair. Well, there's a couple ways to look at what's considered a fair offer. If an investor is buying a particular property, he's got to put the money into it. So whatever that acquisition is, whether it's 200, 300, $400,000, he's got to risk and leverage $400,000 $300,000 to buy the home. Then he has to leverage another 50, 60, 70, maybe even a hundred plus thousand dollars to fix the home. And there's gotta be a little bit of money left over for that particular investor to, to turn around and sell the home for a profit because that's how he makes his living. Then of course that particular offer may not be as high as another offer if you were to sell, let's say to a homeowner, an owner occupant who's gonna live in your home. So I've seen people say, well, I got a better offer um, from a traditional buyer than an investor buyer. And in many cases, that's going to be true because that investor buyer needs to have a little bit of a margin there to be able to fix it up, be able to turn around and resell it. Where an owner occupant doesn't need a margin because they're going to move into it. They're not going to fix it up or maybe they will fix it up, but they surely are not going to sell it. So they don't need to have that margin left over to turn around and sell it with an investor. Um, buying and fixing and selling properties is his livelihood. That's how most investors make their living. So they have to have a little bit of profit at the end of the day uh, after they leverage the acquisition price. Uh, you have to imagine that if one is paying three hundred, four hundred, five hundred thousand dollars for a home and then investing another sixty thousand, seventy thousand, eighty, a hundred plus thousand dollars to fix it up, there's a lot of risk that's taken there, financial risk that's taken there for an investor so that he's gotta be able to turn around and have some cushion there. Um, you know, a lot of people call it profit. I like to call it a cushion because that cushion, with every surprise the house gives you during the renovation, that cushion shrinks. And whatever cushion is left then becomes your profit. So an investor, a smart investor, is gonna establish a little bit of a cushion just to make sure that he doesn't lose money on the transaction. So an investor is going to give you what's a fair investor offer. So when he says a fair offer, it's a fair offer for, from an investor standpoint. You know, the nice thing about working with an investor is he can pay you the cash quickly. You don't have to be on the market for 45, 60, 70 you know, days waiting for the transaction to close. If you're looking to close quickly, the investor has access to the cash right now so that if you need your money in less than a week, you can do that. And so most traditional buyers aren't able to do that. So in an investor case, a fair offer is a quick closing with also the consideration of the uh, amount of uh, money that's going to be leveraged uh, as a risk to invest in that particular home. So if you've got a home that's in rough shape, then an investor offer might be the best way to go. Um, then you don't have to worry about a lot of potential buyers coming to your house. Um, that uh, are never going to buy your home because your home's in rough shape anyway. If your house is beautiful, then absolutely, you know, selling your house the traditional way is probably going to be a much better opportunity for you. You're going to get a much higher price than an investor fair offer price. So if your house is already gorgeous, of course, my recommendation is, you know, list it with a real estate agent. We happen to be realtors ourselves. If you're looking for somebody to ask some questions to with no obligation, uh, feel free to give us a call. We'd be happy to chat with you in regards to uh, some pointers and tips on listing your home. Um, but if your house is already in good shape, listing your home is probably going to be the best traditional way to sell your house. Um, but if your house is rough around the edges and you're looking for a fair investor offer, we'd love to come take a peek at it as well. So. I hope that video makes sense. If you have any questions whatsoever, please feel free to give us a call anytime. We'd be happy to chat with you.